Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe and you guys already know it. It's day 60 of 60. So, what are we going to do? Everybody knows, uh, everybody knows what they should do, but the problem is nobody applies the knowledge. I mean, we go over visualization, we go over taking action, we go over discipline, we go over creating a vision, we go over law of attraction, we go over, uh, like clearing up your mind, getting rid of jealousy, getting rid of hate, uh, logical reasons. I go over the science behind it. I give you guys evidence. I, uh, you know, I try and motivate you to work out. I just try and show you some a couple things to do. But the thing is, guys, if you're not taking full advantage in the application of the knowledge that I'm teaching you, none of this shit does any good, really. Uh, when it comes right down to it, it's your action, and that's the only thing that's going to get you what you want um, in this physical world, anyhow. And so, if you guys are serious about your goals and what you want to achieve in these next 30 days, in this next sprint challenge, I need you guys to be taking action. I need you guys to take this knowledge and start applying it. I need you to section out a time of your day, a uh, time in your week, I don't know, find some, some little space in your schedule where you can fit this in, where you can develop your knowledge, where you can try and apply it, where you can, you know, put some consistency to it to see if it actually builds results. You work out one day, you're not going to see the results, guys. Everybody knows that. Same thing with, you know, meditation, law of attraction, and visualization. If you do it one day, you're not going to be able to see the results. But if you continue to do it two, three weeks, four, five months into it, I mean, Guys, it all starts to change, it all starts to move, it all starts to intertwine, the gears and cogs start to turn. And that's what's really important, that's what we're trying to do is, you know, ingrain that into ourselves so that way that we're always applying this knowledge. It's great to have the knowledge, it's great to have the understanding, but the real understanding comes in the application of the knowledge. So uh, today, I'm going to go over, we're going to go over goal setting and visions and uh, visualizations and you know, we're going to go over some of that stuff today. I'm going to do, you know, a little refresher course because uh, one of the biggest things that I was always taught is don't ever think because you heard something once that you don't ever need to hear it again. There's so many videos that I've watched so many different times and picked up different things that I didn't pick up on the first part. Maybe I got some little epiphany moment, you know, a couple months back and then I re-listened to this this video and it has a whole new meaning to me, it has a whole new understanding. So moving forward in our 60 day challenge, we're right at the end. So I don't, you know, you guys might have learned, grown, experienced so much that uh, when I say these things to you now, it's a new perspective, a new understanding, a betterment in what we're trying to learn here. So let's start with goal setting, guys. You got to know where you want to go. It has to be clear and defined. Um, it has to be clear and defined because if it's not, it can't point out, the brain can't point out the way to get there for you. Uh, like I said, when you start visualizing your goals, it uh, activates in your front cerebral cortex and it activates your reticular activating system so that way it can point out everything to you. It can show you these kind of things. It's There's things that are going to happen like um, when you get a car, I've, I know I've told you guys this example before, when you get a car and then all of a sudden you start seeing the same car all over the road that you hadn't really seen before, it's because your reticular activating system is starting to point out this freshly new information and it's, uh, and it becomes more present in your perception. So that's like what that's what we're doing with the visualization and I've also I, I know I've told you guys this I know I harp on this all the time the brain does not know the difference between imagination and reality especially so it doesn't know the difference when you visualize something so if you're visualizing your goal in the future and then let's say we're visualizing our past connecting an emotional response to it then visualizing our future and connecting the same emotional response the brain doesn't realize that it's not real the brain doesn't realize the central nervous system doesn't realize that it's not real it's literally going to point out all of this to you You've literally convinced your brain from a past moment and linked it to a future event that it is possible for you with that emotional connection and always remember the emotional connection is the most powerful connection to make you guys can do all this logical intent thought, thinking, all that stuff, it's dry, man. It doesn't, it has, it has a certain amount of power, but it doesn't have the power of emotion. Emotion is, emotion is going to be that energy that
makes a manifestation come into your uh, reality. Like come on, guys. Stop. Chill. I'm trying to do a video here. So, anyhow, um, yeah. So link that emotion. The brain doesn't know the difference, guys. Um, that's very important. Goal setting, obviously you gotta know what you want. You gotta know where you wanna go. And your visualization, it's gotta be clear and defined. The more clear and defined it is, the easier it's gonna be for you guys to achieve what you want. So write down your goals. Write down the what it smells like, what it feels like, what it looks like, what it, um, what's gonna happen, what, what car you're gonna drive, you know, what business you're gonna own, what your body's gonna look like, what you know, your spiritual development is gonna be in six months time, one year, five years, 10 years. And you have to have that ultimate goal. It's always good to go from, you know, for me, I look 10 years. I, that's kind of my cutoff at right in this moment of my life. I look 10 years into the future and I work backwards because I don't want to set up a goal for, you know, six month, 12 month time period and find out that it's not really in line with my 10 year goal. So I wasted all that time trying to achieve something that wasn't really in line with my 10 year goal. You see, it's to the ultimate. You're looking for your ultimate purpose. You have a life's work that you should be trying to strive for. If you don't know what it is yet, that's fine, but you still gotta find it and develop it. You still have to have those five, 10 year goals that you can start working towards. So that way, once you get there, once you start achieving those, it really starts to put it in perspective of what you want. Some people think they want money, but when they get money, they find out that's not what made them happy. But if you spend all this time just thinking about making more money, and not actually making the money, you're always gonna think that's gonna make you more happy. You're never really gonna truly find out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyhow, so you're never gonna truly find out if that's what's gonna really make you happy unless you go after and get it. That's, uh, that's the importance of taking action after your goals. <sighs> Moving on to, uh, you know, if we're gonna be going after these things, like I said, you have to have that unwavering intent, that focus, that drive. Part of that is letting go of all the negativity because how much does that drain you throughout the day? How much does it drain you that you're pissed off at your coworker or you're pissed off at your dad or your mom or your sister or your brother or your, you know, your son, daughter for whatever they did? It doesn't matter, guys. That shit just drains your energy. There's no value in it. The only value in it is when you give up value to it. That's when you truly get the, get the, full benefit of the emotion that you're holding on to is when you let go of it. So don't don't hold on to that stuff guys. It saps your creative energy and in and in a world where we're purely just made up of energy. Everything is energy, you know, right down to those little electrons and protons. Everything is energy and with energy there's always an equal and opposite reaction. So there's nothing, there's no neutral ground. If you're angry at somebody, it's taking you away from your goal. And with a certain amount of time period that we're alive on this earth, you only have so much time to grasp this opportunity. So you can't be wasting it on, you know, hating other people and being spiteful or jealous or angry or any of that, guys, because it's not gonna it's it's not gonna get you to where you want to be. It's gonna take you away from it. There's no neutral ground in this. It's either propelling you forward or taking you back. We all just want to be happy. That's the purpose of any goal and motivation in this life. So don't don't give power to being unhappy. Don't give power to other people taking your power away to be happy. If you guys let them make you angry, they win. Don't you understand that? They win. You're giving them your power. You're basically saying, you can affect me however you want, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bow down to you. That's the way I feel about it. I mean, that might be, you know, a little drastic and, uh, you know, dramatic, but that's how I feel about it. If... If, so, if you're giving somebody else the permission to make you how you are, how you feel internally, think about it, how you feel is a chemical dump. It's an, an electrical impulse in the brain that causes that electrical dump. You're, you have the ability to control your breath, the most important vital uh, thing that keeps you alive. You definitely have the control to regulate your mood, stabilize you know, your mentality, uh, regulate your emotions. You have that ability. If you can control your breath, you can control your heart, you can control your, you know, your blood, your, your emotions, your thoughts, your thinking, all that, guys. You have the power, you have the ability. You just have to harness it, learn to concentrate, learn to focus it. So uh, 
in these next 30 days, that's going to be super important. The unwavering intent, the getting distractions out, whether that distraction is your compulsions to eat, your compulsions for drugs, you know, whether it's alcohol, tobacco, nicotine, caffeine, whatever it is, uh, you know, distractions are distractions no matter what they are, whether it's, you know, hate and anger or spite or jealousy or regret or uh, whatever, whatever negative emotion, those are all holding you back, guys. Don't just let them go. That's a, those are all distractions. Anything you need to get you through this, to propel you forward, you need to focus on. It's it's that unwavering intent. It's uh, it's not feeling sorry for yourself. It's uh, taking action every day and getting after it. Because that's that's really the only way you're going to be successful. I mean, you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe, is the way Eric Thomas puts it. Um, and to some extent, that's how uh, that's how the law of attraction works. You know, if you if you want it as bad as you want to breathe, and you put in the work, then you know you deserve it. And once you know you deserve it, then there's nothing that can be withheld from you from getting it, because that's just how it works. It's just I don't really know how to fully explain that any better, but that's just how it works. So, uh, 30 days coming up, guys. We're hitting it hard. Uh, I went over some visualization. You guys, you know, we got to visualize our goals. I went over goal setting. You know, have that purpose, have that dream, find out what you want, what you truly want, and go after it. Start getting after it because it's not going to be until the achievement of those goals that you find out if that actually truly makes you happy. If you just think it's going to make you happy, you find out it doesn't, you need to start changing the game plan, right? So go after those things that you think you're going to make you happy and achieve them to, you know, find out that ultimate happiness because that's what we're striving for. We went over, you know, getting rid of some of those negative emotions. We went over, you know, we went over a lot of stuff, guys. Um, I want you to try, if you have to, rewatch the video. Um, don't forget the free report. You guys all got the free report in, uh, in the, first, the first email that I sent you guys. If you guys want me to resend it, email me. I'll resend it for you guys. Read that over. It has a lot in goal setting. There's a lot of planning, a lot of uh, meticula, uh, meticulous uh, aspects that you need to grasp in there for setting up you know, how you want to be, who you want to be, why you want to be that person. So always look over your resources and obviously do your own research, guys. I mean, I'm just one person with uh, an opinion on some things, you know. Go find some more opinions. Go find some commonalities. Go find some differences. Be the devil's advocate. Prove me wrong. Find people that, you know, kind of have the same ideas as me, kind of look on the same path as me. You know, do, do your own due diligence, guys. Um, because it's your own theory and philosophy that's really going to start to restructure your life and your brain and make all your dreams and realities true. But it's, it's up to you. That's what it really comes down to. Um, so I'm going to give you guys this little bit of time. It's Tuesday right now. We got all the way until Monday. Don't slack off, guys. Come on, start putting down what you're going to accomplish. I want that one major and those two, uh, those two side prospects that you're planning to get done. That uh, the one major being the detriment that's holding you back in life, and the and the two that are going to propel you forward uh, that you know you have to do. So let's make those happen in these 30 days. You guys got six days to plan out your game plan to make it happen. To you know to find out what you're going to be doing every week to get closer. Every day you can even plan out. You know you can even plan out the hours if you want. I actually plan out every single uh, week. Uh, try and do it right up to the hour and I leave some free time to shuffle things around because you never know what's going to happen and you know obviously life's a little crazy sometimes but I think I've really rambled on long enough about this uh, guys we're, we're done we're done with this 60 day challenge but we're not done changing growing expanding becoming the best version of ourselves so don't slack off don't stop uh, I mean, I'm going to send an email to you guys on probably uh, maybe Thursday or Friday and then another one on Sunday, getting you guys hopefully ready for this upcoming 30 days. It's, uh, this is where we break some self-limiting beliefs. This is where we stop making excuses. You know, This is where we ingrain things into our, our system, where we find that unwavering intent. Maybe 60 days is too long to you know, break the cycle, but maybe it's 30 days we can really, you know, hammer it down. So with that said, get after what you want, find out what you want. This is Max Fisher from A Better Universe, your mind, body, spirit connection. I'll see you guys.
later. Peace.